Hi, welcome to the Java programming tutorial. And what we've been looking at is um, graphics and drawing images. And what we're going to look at uh, today is the repaint method. And what the repaint method does is every 60, every second it does, it repaints the image um, 60 times. And so, and how it works, it calls an update method. And so, but when you do this, I'll show you, it will begin to frickin' flash. And so if I save this, well, first I'll add the repaint. I'll show you it before the repaint. You can see it's drew all these, and it t that was the last one to get drawn, and you see that these were all done first, and it does one at a time. And so when I add the repaint, this will add, actually do it, it's done it once to and stopped, but every second it'll repaint everything 60 times and so you'll get fricker and so it's a thing called double buffering and it's it's maybe a little bit too complicated to, to do in just one go and so what I'll do is I'll, I'll lead you into it and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you a fricker and then I created another class um, background and it's got a panel and it draws it onto a panel and then I add it then I add it to the frame. But by the time the frame shows it, all these all these have already been drawn. Um, so you don't get the fricker. It's, it's sort of it's sort of buffering but it's not buffering. And what the buffering is is that instead of drawing it onto your, your image that you're showing to the to, to your client or whatever or or the game, um, line at a time, pixel at a time, it takes time. It the image is drawn before it's actually put to screen. So when it is put to screen, the whole image is put to screen so you don't get fricker. And so so that's what I'm going to show you. So the first thing I'm going to do is add, the first thing I'm going to do is is add repaint. So this is a, the paint component. There's lots, many different ways of doing it. And this is where people people get confused, and especially Java and object oriented programming. Let's say one person may show you one way of doing something, another person show you another way of doing something, and rather than that helping, it actually confuses people because they don't get a grasp. Um, the the fact that like made all the associations for to do something, and then someone showed them a different way, and they've got to make completely different associations, and and so and that's being confused. And so what I'm going to do here is add repaint. This is paint. I've also added variables to the x, y, x1, y1, x2, y2, so we can do animation. And so, so what we do is just the method is repaint. Um, and it's inside the panel, but you can take it outside the panel and you can put it inside um, a thread, you can put it inside a timer, you can put it inside um, um, an action listener sort of thing. And so, but that's, this is a method from graphics to repaint. And so what we'll do now, we'll save it and on the program you'll see what, what I'm talking about, the flashing. Now this is really flashing really fast um, and it's drawing one component at a time, this first and that one then this one, then that one, it draws it pixel at a time, line at a time, and then that one's the last one down here, I think. Um, and so, I don't, because this is a, a screen capture, um, it doesn't capture um, the screen the way that we would see it, the, the scaps between it, so, but I think you'll still see it flashing. Now that's not good, you can imagine this is not good for a game or anything, if something's flashing. And so there's a way of overcoming it. And the most easiest way to do is to, to draw on a, a different class and create another class and add that class to this frame and then add it to the frame. And I'll show you how we've done that. And so what I'm doing is I'm going to cut all this out. Um, yeah, I'm going to cut all this out. Let's see. And I've got it all inside this class. And this class has got a J, J panel and it's got a, I've created a panel in the constructor 
I've created the icon and the image just the same and the graphics paint but we're not using that one what we need to do is we need to add we need to add the panel to the panel is called DK ground and so we'll just go um, back DK and G equals new and now it's a constructor as before so that's us created an instance of this class here and we access it with this key name here and so if we come in here we do this dot add and we're going to add bkg so what we've done we've added this class to this frame so save and done the program you can see it's not thrashing anymore yet we've got the repaint repaint um, method well, we, yeah we do have it we've got the repaint method here but it's not thrashing because this is already drawn the whole every single object is already drawn before we've added it um, to the frame the other class of graphics to the frame and so so that's one way of of doing it but that's not double buffing we're going to go into that um, and what you can imagine is that you've got a hard drive and you've got memory you've got a CPU which processes data and then puts it to screen well if the CPU has got to read information from from the hard drive it's very slow compared to a CPU um, of, and compared to memory and so if you load an image into memory a complete image then if the CPU is to put that onto the screen it's faster to go from the memory to the screen and so you can call that buffering um, so that's my take on it I'm not too sure if it's right but it's faster it doesn't have to draw pixel to pixel so that you don't actually see the the the, the, the fraction um, so so that's that's double buffering but I'll show you how to do that and um, but the key point here is the repaint method which has got a time added to it 60 times in one second it will redraw the paint component so what if it's in paint will be redrawn not in this one in this one because this is one we're using with repaint you can have different classes with different repaints and different paint methods and so this is flashing but by the time the whole thing is made it's added to the frame so you do not see flashing and the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to how to do animation and so I hope that's been of, of use and I hope that you know, that that's a complicated issue and um, double buffering and what's going on in the computer and why it's flashing why it's not flashing how you stop it from flashing and so I just hope that it's made a little bit of sense and again thank you for your time.